and welcome to another Dragon Storm Studios video. Now, when I think of the most expressive and emotive actor on television, my mind immediately goes to David Tennant. Now, it would be very easy just to draw him as the 10th Doctor from the BBC show Doctor Who. Recently, however, I've been watching Around the World in 80 Days on PBS, a modern reimagining of the Jules Verne classic yet still set in the 19th century. Tennant plays Phileas Fogg on an adventure which sees him betting a friend and rival that he can circumnavigate the Earth in an 80 day time span. I do remember watching the Pierce Brosnan version in 1999, and I may have even seen the 1956 version once. Here, Tennant and his small party spend eight episodes encountering all manner of people in his quest, and it sees him as an interesting character with much development along the way, and it challenges his standards and sensibilities. This whole experience is such a unique one for this particular character. I also enjoyed seeing Tenon in Good Omens, which was an adaptation of a Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman novel. Both actors, by the way, are very well represented in my library, and I heartily enjoyed the visual portrayal. David Tennant is one of Scotland's best actors, second only in my book to Sean Connery. What surprised me most when researching him was how many voice acting credits he has. Everything from DuckTales, where he's of course Scrooge McDuck, to How to Train Your Dragon. He is currently 50 years old at the time of this recording and will continue to impress audiences with his enthusiasm expressions, and voice acting talents. Now, on to the drawing. So one of the first things you might have noticed in the background while I was talking was that I had made some changes off camera. I realized after my, my first recording session that I made the eyes too big. And this is one thing about certain actors or actresses or models in general who have very pronounced features. Um, I would say that David Tennant has some fairly intense eyes. And even as kids, we tend to, because we tend to look at eyes when we're talking to people, we overemphasize how big they are. I had definitely done that with David Tennant here. And at this point, I'm still, I'm not sure about the drawing, but the, the shading, the extra darkness in the eyebrow and the eye, and uh, just the, the facial features around the eye make a really big difference. When deciding where the nose is, I often will use the uh, angle uh, on my picture from tear duct to tip of nose. You can see that helps me here get the right length of the nose. Uh, again, another thing which is very common is having the nose either too stubby or too long. And that's one little trick I use to help ameliorate that particular issue. In the uh, show Around the World in 80 Days, David Tennant has a mustache, which I'm not going to lie, took some getting used to uh, as a viewer because I'm so used to seeing him clean cut as the doctor. But here, uh, I'm actually really happy with how it's, it's turning out. Uh, the shape of the mustache from the picture was a little bit uneven, so I drew it as shown in the picture here. But later on, I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm, I, I kind of just make some, some artistic alterations here and there. At this point, he, although flat because there's no shading yet, you can really see David Tennant in the role here now. So I'm going to spend some time just with my lightest pencil going over some of those areas. And then with a darker pencil, this I believe is a 7B pencil, I, I go over the hair. And uh, the sideburns in particular are very dark. You do get some reflections in the hair. And those I'll, I'll definitely uh, work on with the blending stomp as well, just to blend in nicely to create a bit more of a subtle effect. The light shine is is not so pronounced that it's uh, it, it's like in a cartoon, which is just white. You end up with a lot of gray tones in there. At this point, I start working on the face, and here's where things really start to happen and change. 
Uh, I'm really happy with the way around the eyes turned out. Uh, David Tennant, as mentioned earlier, is 50 years old now. So just like me, getting a little bit of, of very pronounced facial features. We love that, that uh, more distinguished kind of look. And again, the shading makes such a big difference. I really struggled in the background in terms of ideas for what to do. So I decided on a big clock. Um, that could reference time travel for another character he plays, but also in the introductory scene of the show around the world in 80 days, there's a really interesting, almost like a clockwork sort of motif. I've tried to use some of those elements in the background here. But that's pretty much our drawing of David Tennant as Phileas Fogg from Around the World in 80 Days. Hope you enjoyed watching that video and maybe it's inspired you to draw your favorite television character as well. So thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.